Hey there, LinkedIn ads fanatics. If you don't know me already, my name's AJ Wilcox. I'm the host of the LinkedIn ads show podcast. And something just barely blew my mind and I've got to share it with you. I figured out why carousel ads on LinkedIn are so dang expensive. I probably should have already known this, but nearly every time that we test carousel ads on LinkedIn, the costs per click are about 20% higher than an equivalent click on a single image sponsored content ad would be. And this has always been super confusing to me because when I have the objective set for website visits, I should only be paying for those clicks that go to my website, to the landing page. Well, I just figured that maybe when we are giving too many choices, like in a carousel ad, you have a ton of, uh, or maybe not a ton, you might have two to five or maybe even 10 different pins that someone can look at. Maybe we as humans, when we're faced with multiple choices like that, we go into analysis paralysis and become less likely to click anything. And of course, we know that when your click-through rates go down, your effective cost per click is going to increase. Essentially, you're not as competitive to LinkedIn. You're not making them as much money. In our analysis, that might sway the costs to maybe a single digit percentage, but it wouldn't be able to account for the whole uh, double digit, like 20% increase in, in costs. So then in conversation with Pat McDaniel, who's a good friend and the head of paid media at Precision Marketing Group, we, together we realized that we were seeing the same effect and it totally sparked my curiosity. While I was reading in LinkedIn's documentation about chargeable clicks, this is what I found. So you can see, note in carousel ads, if different cards have separate destination URLs, you're charged once for each unique URL the member clicks. Ah, imagine that, mystery solved. We have multiple charges for a single user, a single visitor to your ad, which I don't, is, I don't believe is anything that LinkedIn has ever had on any of their other ads. So the reason carousel ads are so expensive compared to single image ads is because we're getting charged for every click that a prospect does on the ad, uh, even multiples per ad format when they can click on multiple pins. So knowing that costs are generally about 20% higher indicates to me that the majority of interactions on the ad is just a single click, but maybe one in five go back to click on a, an additional pane making them 20% more expensive. And so you sophisticated marketers out there are certainly tagging each individual destination URL with unique tracking parameters. So even then, every item in your carousel, even if they all led to the same technical landing page, because those tracking parameters are there uniquely, so you can track which pane is, is making the biggest difference, to LinkedIn, that's going to make a separate unique destination URL, which means you're going to be paying significantly more. I was super surprised by the way that LinkedIn handles the charging on carousel ads because I don't think that that's the right way to handle them at all. Uh, I totally expected to see LinkedIn charge only for a unique click on any pane in the carousel and then further interactions with the carousel should be free. So if you're not happy with this, uh, there are two different ways that you can kind of deal with it. So number one, you can simply avoid running carousel ads in your LinkedIn ad strategy. That's pretty much what we've done for a long time is they're too expensive, so just don't run them. Or you could ensure that you're paying by the impression instead of by the click. And that means that it doesn't matter how many or few clicks they do, it's still gonna charge you the same amount. Um, in order to do this, you'll want to use any of the auto bidding. So maximum delivery options, that's going to bid on CPM basis. Uh, also, if you're doing manual CPM bidding, that's another way to do CPM. So of course, if you do choose to bid by the impression, keep a close eye on your effective cost per clicks because uh, if those effective costs per click increase more than about the 20% by bidding CPM, then it would still technically be cheaper for you to be bidding by the click and just pay for those additional interactions on the ads, they're gonna be worth it. If you're hungry for more insights like this, definitely subscribe to the LinkedIn Ads Show podcast on whatever podcast player you're using. I guarantee it's there. If it's not, please let me know and I'll make sure I get it added. Again, I'm AJ Wilcox, and I'm cheering you on in your LinkedIn Ads initiative.